18 minutes past the hour of 1 o'clock. Thanks for joining me here on Newsline PM. Some things just don't make a hell of a lot of sense to me, and this is this is one of them. I, I Recognizing the fiscal uh, crises that we're dealing with, both at the federal and state level, you recognize and understand that there's going to be things that have to be uh, cut and dealt with. But some things you expect should be sacrosanct. And and I, I think, particularly given the amount of money that we're talking about, this is one of them. Uh, because we're there's a good possibility here that federal money uh, that's used for uh, against uh, dealing with underage drinking might just evaporate. So we got some folks from MAD here. Stacey Rhodes and uh, Michelle Davis, thank you very much for being here. Both of you, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Your son died. Yes, yes, he did. In a drunk driving he did. crash. Yeah. I refuse to call it an accident. There, just, We don't, yeah. I, it, an no, accident, no, it, it was never an accident. Um, he was killed three years ago at the age of 19 by his best friend who was 18. So it's really one of those double jeopardies. Um, and we depend so much on, you know, for this especially, my goal is to never have another parent have to go through what I've gone through and what I go through every single day. And the funding that we receive is so it's really nominal in the big scheme of life. It's $300,000. Um, three, in, in Washington State. Yeah. That's what Washington State is. And you're looking at a federal fiscal dollar amount of $1.4 million federally that they want to take away. That is nothing, you know. And where MAD is, we're fully 100% donations in Washington State. And we depend on our prevention community that receive this dollar amount, this nominal dollar amount from the federal government. But they do so many amazing things really on, you know, on breadcrumbs. And we again, depend solely on their kindness and kind of taking um, our our mission and what we want to focus on, and they incorporate that into their prevention. And we're just so grateful for that. But losing this this $300,000, it would be devastating. It's just, it's, and before we went on the air, we were I was saying, you know, $300,000, that's a lot of money to you and me. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking in terms of government, I mean, this is this is something that would fund a study as to, you know, why ants go up a tree and don't do so in a straight line? I mean, yeah. there's there's got to be other money someplace else, and because I say it's it's a lot of money, but it's inconsequential in terms of the overall federal spending. Yeah, it's so huge to Washington State though, because as Stacy said. This money, it's it. In terms of the underage drinking issue, education, awareness, the programs at schools, any of that stuff, that's all comes from this money. Because MAD, who we both work with, we're volunteers. MAD has six active volunteers in the state of Washington. That's it. There are no paid employees from MAD National here. All of the programs that we put on with MAD are fully funded by donations, the generosity of your mm -hmm. Joe Schmo on the street. You take this money away, which only a small percentage of that money trickles down to us, where we you know, get some portion of it um, through these other prevention organizations. This is it. When this money's gone... Washington State's done, except for people like you helping us raise awareness and, and collect donations. So be specific then when you talk about what goes away. So there's no more going into schools, talking to kids on a on a very poignant level. When someone like Stacy comes in and says, my son was killed. My mm -hmm. son once sat in an auditorium like yeah. you right. and died on the highway because people were stupid when it came to drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. That goes away. Well, it it will, yeah, it will go away, and also um, any funding that we or it, we they work very the prevention community works very closely with law enforcement and education with law enforcement. That's going to go away. Anything that really comes down to reducing underage drinking um, in Washington State will not it will lose its funding from the federal resources from this resource is not saying that it'll go away completely but it's really going to take away from our prevention community who already focuses on their job and then they take this on that's it's it's going to lose all right with, lose the, with the time we have remaining to you because you've got a fundraising thing coming up mm -hmm. what yep. is that going to involve so october 29th walk like mad you can go register at walklikemad.org it's um, a non-competitive walk around green lake helping to raise dollars we're going to be there our friends from law enforcement are going to be there seattle king county and the uh, washington state patrol are going to be there some great sponsors there helping us raise money that's where we'll 
will be. And can 75 kids, underage kids, lose their lives in Washington State every year because of this issue? We have to keep this funding right. coming in the donation. Okay. So please walk with us on the 29th. Walklikemad.org. That's right. We need to drive that one. Walklikemad, all one word, mm-hmm. .org. That's the website you need mm-hmm. to go to. Yep. Michelle, mm-hmm. Stacy, thank you very much. Appreciate oh, you both coming you. in today. I hope this really works out well. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Back very in a much. moment. Como AAA traffic and weather every 10 minutes on the fours. Southbound 405 is.